there, I'm Taya Mikola. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to stay positive during hard times. Okay, so most people are pretty positive when things in their life are okay, but what about when things aren't okay? Here are my top seven tips for maintaining positivity when things get rough. Number one, distract yourself. If you're not thinking about it, you're not adding all that negative energy to it. So it's first on the list. Number two, hang out with positive people. When things get tough, you wanna to make sure that you're with others that naturally lift you up. Schedule some time to be with your most positive pals and maybe even away from your more negative ones. Number three, maintain your routine. If everything's falling apart, try to still maintain important parts of your routine. This is not the time to pig out or eat badly. Stick to normal as much as you can. Make sure you get your work up, show it to your class, whatever your routine is. Doing all these normal things will give you a breather from the drama of your situation and will support you through this time. Number four, refrain from talking about it to everyone. Choose one or two good friends that you give a daily update to some trusted resources that you can share with, but refrain from scaring yourself over and over with everyone. You just don't need that replay in your head. Number five, plan some fun things. Remember that there's more to life. Just because you're, you know, things are, are going through hell doesn't mean you can't look for some positives. It'll give you something to look forward to and perhaps even throw in some happy times amongst your sad times. So definitely plan to do those things. Number six, have a crash plan, a plan for what you'll do if it hits you hard. Who will you talk to, share with? Where will you go? What can you do if it all goes to pot? Having a plan for it will keep you supported mentally and it also keeps you away from unhealthy or destructive habits that aren't helpful like drinking. This is your in an emergency break glass plan. And number seven, be grateful. Having gratitude for what is going right in your life helps you to maintain perspective. Lastly, get some help with your feelings. If you are going through a difficult time, you have every right to feel an array of emotions from hurt, scared, alone, angry, resentful, guilty, even skeptical about a positive resolution. You're gonna feel some strong emotions. Trying to stay positive and pretend that you don't have these feelings isn't gonna help, it's just denial. So getting help with these feelings from a professional outside of your friendship circles is essential because you need someone that you can be vulnerable with. And once you clear all that stuff, you can go back to feeling positive. One of my favorite ways to help clients is together we identify exactly what the emotions and the problems are, any fears, worries, or doubts, when in their lives it happened before, and then we just let it all go. Life is hard enough without that baggage. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel and maybe even share it with someone that really may need to hear it right now, especially if they're going through a hard time. Don't forget to visit us on our Facebook encouragement page. I've had a great time talking with you today. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.